Hello guys and today I'm going to be doing a different video. I'm going to be showing how to you how to set up your steering wheel and pedals to work with Farming Simulator 15. So first what you need to do is you need to open up Farming Simulator, go to options and you'll be presented with this page. Next you need to go to MISC and make sure the steering wheel gamepad is to set to the on position so you just need to set it to on and once you've done that click save no. reload your farming simulator then you need to go back into options controls this time and you'll see here there's a gamepad setting and this is what you'll be using to add in your commands to your to well setting your steering wheel up so first you need to find the steer so we'll start with steer left so we click on that and it, this is now in recording mode so you get your steering wheel and you take it all the way to the left and let it go back to the center again and that's set steering left and steering right as you can see there now we need drive forward so you'll click on drive forward and you'll get your pedal so well I've got mine on the desk at the moment so I can show you and you put that all the way down there and all the way back up and as you can see drive forward and drive backwards has been set and if you want to make it a bit more complicated, you can set walk left, walk forward, things like that. Just trying to find. And some steering wheels come with a D-pad. So, well, I set my D-pad to D-pad up implement. Well, these are just all the implement functions. So you'll your D-pad up, right, left, and down. You can set that, and well, attach implement. I usually set that to the flappy paddle on the steering wheel. So see there, Just click that and it's registered it as button 2. Honk is usually the button on the back of my steering wheel, which you probably can't see. So I'll click that and it'll set it to that. Beacon lights, set that to the button there. And basically that's how to set up your steering wheel and pedals for to work with Farming Simulator 15. Um, so once you've done the steering wheel and the pedals section, you can go on to add in different key bindings to these functions. And you can also set it to do make multiple think you can set it to do multiple buttons so if I get this right I should be able to set yeah you can set two buttons to do something so just delete that quickly so that's how to set up your steering wheel for farming simulator 15 if you've got any comments or questions put it down in the comments don't forget to subscribe to the channel like and share the video and if you haven't seen the episode on Coldborough Park Farm yet, if I get to 150 subscribers, I will do a live stream on Twitch. So look out for that and well, tell people about the channel, get people to subscribe. So you click, well once you've done this, you click save, it takes you back to this screen and you're ready to go. I'll quickly show you video I think this might have some machinery in it. I'll, I'll show you the steering wheel and pedals in action.
pedals on the floor quickly. But I'm gonna leave them there. Some steering wheels are a bit harder to set up, uh, but others a bit easier. If you, so if you've got any questions, just put it in the comments and I'll try and sort it out. So, yeah, so that's down there. So, get this right, camera angle right. Should drive it forward. Yep. So let's drive it forward. Stop. Wheels right. Wheels left. Then the buttons that I set up beacons. Attach implement. Detach implement. So yeah, that's how to set up your steering wheel for Farming Simulator 15. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. And I'll uh, see you next time. Goodbye.